this is first trial. Hopefully you can see me. I zoom the camera in because I'm going to try and see the balls rolling near the center of the table. I want to point out, first I clean the balls with Simple Green, which is a standard biodegradable industrial cleaner. I use it a lot on my machines. I got a couple specialty cue balls here. One just has markings, so you'll be able to see the spin. I'm going to use that for a cue ball. The other one is what they call the measles cue ball. And you'll notice that it has a total of six dots on it. Top, bottom, front, back, left, and right. You can think of it like a cube, like it's got six sides. So I'm going to set it up with the bottom dot touching blue spot, top dot straight up, and then I'm going to make contact with the front dot. And that means the left dot is going to be pointing directly at the black spot and directly at the camera. Take note of what happens to the dot that you're looking at. Try and set it up as square as possible. And I'm just going to hit a couple of center ball shots, see what it looks like. Just slight draw, center ball. spin center ball. shot center ball okay I'm gonna put left hand spin on it I'm going to try to strike full in the face. That's a little tricky to do because, of course, the white ball, the cue ball, will swerve a little bit. But we'll be able to judge if it struck square based on how it travels down the line. Okay, so with left hand side. I actually couldn't see that dot, so I'm not sure what happened. Try and do it exactly the same way, just for another trial. Okay, we'll see how that came out. I have no idea what the results look like. Now I'll show you another piece of evidence that spin does transfer. This is the bar trick I'm talking about. If you are in a bar and I make a bet, in a pub and I make a bet, the setup is that two balls each touch the cushion, the balls touch each other, and the third ball touches at an angle. And I bet you there is no way that you can pop that measle ball in the corner. So you try it. 
and no matter how you try, you are not going to be able to pop that measle ball in the corner. But when I set it up and make the same bet that I bet you that I can pot it in the corner, All balls touching each other, these two balls touching the cushion. Measle ball in the corner. So of course you think it's got something to do with the table. So you go ahead and set it up on this side. you take the shot again, but I bet you again, you cannot pop a measle ball in the corner, no matter how you try. Maybe you think you should hit it harder. You want to try it again. Maybe you think you should hit it softer. The setup, and you just have to believe me on this. As all balls are touching each other, and these two balls are touching the cushion. That's the only thing about the setup. So if you think maybe you need to hit it softer, you will not pop that measle ball in the corner. But I'll do it on this side. Just so you can see, it's got nothing to do with the table. All balls touching each other. Two balls touching the cushion. And if you think it wouldn't go in if you hit it hard, no matter how I hit that ball, it will go in because spin does transfer. <laughs>